So what do you say to people who say that uh, an unborn child has no rights? <laughs> I, may I name her? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. We were looking at, our, at a, a video about Hillary Clinton, and for her to even say that the unborn person has no rights, there's a stamp of guilty on her for it because she's just acknowledged that the unborn is a person. Right. But of course, it can't be an elephant or a dog. Or, right. Where do we start? We start at the moment of fertilization. And God knew us even before that, but when we're in this world, that's where it starts. And, and that was on a Meet the Press interview today. So yeah. Sad. National interview, yeah. I think that people love their sin so much that they will justify and do anything to stay in it. Yeah. But you're taking more than a, just a passive interest in this. I mean, you are taking one step at a time to move forward with other women. What are you doing? What is this march all about? Well, the march is definitely to break the curse over the rape conceived. There is a curse. In 1966, it was the only reason that abortion came about was because of rape, incest, life of the mother. We are 50 years into this, and pro-life leaders continually put the rape conceived as the tool of negotiations. We are no longer a tool of negotiation. We are standing up for ourselves, and we are saying this is a basic human rights issue and this is genocide against a pe uh, specific people group the people group is the rape conceived this is no more horrendous than what they did to the jews what they did to uh, african americans in the slavery we are being literally killed because of preconceived thinking about us can this can this be turned around in your mind? Of course, we've seen 50 years of neglect. We've seen 50 years of going south with the whole issue of life. Can you see in your mind's eye, kind of prophetically, that this can be turned around? And, comma, if it can be, how so? Uh, you know, I want to. I am the optimist. You know, and I want to say, yes, we're going to... Now you're the optimist, yes. Yeah, we're going to do this. I'm also a realist. And I realize that we have pro-life leaders who are arguing with senators who are making bills that say abortion is murder and we will stop it. But you have pro-life leaders who are coming in and saying, no, 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 we can't do that because it's going to mess up all the other laws that we did. Um, I don't know. Is that too much logic for anybody? <laughs> I can't wrap my head around that. We're going to end all of the abortion all together. Let's go slowly. And we won't need the other ones that say, then you can kill your baby. But who are fighting us? It's the pro-life leaders. Hmm. So we need to get to them. We need to say, stop it. If all of us would get on the same page, this would end. <laughs>